Welcome to this new series from Learn and Gain on ServiceNow Event Management. In this part of event management, we will discuss about what constitutes an event record. Please subscribe and support our channel to create more educational videos. Just a reminder that this in no way shape or form should be considered as an official training material on the event management module. This is only an attempt to provide basic information on how to configure and implement event management. Please refer to ServiceNow product documentation for most recent updates. The two most important tables within event management are BM underscore event, where events reside, and BM underscore alert, where alerts reside. Event table receives events from the monitoring system with relevant information about the issue. Alert table receives alerts, which are an outcome of processed events, through event rules. Another important table is the application services table. Depending on the type of application services, they reside among the below tables. Discovered, CMDB underscore, CI underscore, service underscore, discovered. Dynamic CI group, CMDB underscore, CI underscore, query underscore, base underscore, service, Tag based, CMDB underscore, CI underscore, service underscore, by underscore, tags. Manual, CMDB underscore, CI underscore, service underscore, discovered. The CMDB underscore, CI underscore, service underscore, discovered table is an extension of the services table, CMDB underscore, CI underscore, service. Any event older than five days, are cleared from the events table through table rotation. We should not be altering table rotation as it may impact the performance of the system. One of the key component within an event table is the event record. Let us take a look in the tool as to what constitutes an event record. You can search for events using search or navigating to all events within event management. From the list of events, you can open a specific event record. This is how an event record looks like in the system. Source refers to the monitoring tool that generated the event. In this example, it's Savix. Notice the configuration item against which the event has occurred. It can be in the form of CI name, MAC address, IP or fully qualified domain name. Type is usually the metric type such as disk or memory. Resource refers to the resource within a node, like C drive, process name, and so on. Metric name is the name or attribute of the metric from the monitoring system. Message key is a unique identifier for a specific issue on a configuration item. Message key is responsible for deduplicating events. If this value is empty, service now auto populates based on information from source, node, type, resource, and metric name. Severity is the criticality of the event and is based on the defined values within the monitoring system. Choice values are critical, major, minor, warning, okay, and clear. Resolution state is either new or closed. State represents the life cycle of an event. The various states are ready, event is yet to be processed by the system. Processed, event was successfully processed. In this example, event rules ABEX all was applied and the event was processed. Ignored, when the event has been ignored by an event rule. Error, when an event encountered errors during processing. You will encounter an error when the severity field is blank. Alert field will be populated when an event has been processed. Description provides a brief description of the event from the monitoring tool. Additional information is used when any relevant or additional information about the issue should be sent from the monitoring tool. In most real-life scenarios, information related to severity, filter conditions for processing or ignoring alerts will all come through additional information depending on the monitoring tools and the best fit solution for your scenario. One of the most important fields within an event record is the message key. Message key uniquely identifies an event determines if a new alert record should be created or update an existing alert. The message key remains the same in the event of a repeated event. 
Event Management D duplicates event records with the same message key and updates the existing alert with relevant information. In upcoming lessons, we will discuss more on alert tree opening and closure. As stated earlier, if the message key field is empty, the system auto-populates the message key with information from source, node, type, resource, and metric name. In the next chapter, we will discuss more in detail on event processing and event rules. We will have the event rules segmented into multiple videos to provide a better understanding of each process step within event processing. Please support our channel by subscribing to create more educational videos. Thank you and have a wonderful day.